let's say someone comes to you and says, hey, Aiden, I want to start my CFD journey. Where yeah. should I start? Like very briefly, where should I start? Oh, where should I start? You can also say, that, you can also say yeah. your channel. Oh, my channel, yeah. <laughs> actually, surprisingly, actually, the first thing I would say is if I, I was presented with a stranger who said, Aiden, I want CFD, I want to try this, what should I do? I would actually recommend, I would say, go to, I, I don't want to support them specifically, but I would, my offhand recommendation would be go and get uh, OpenFoam or another free open source CFD software and just try the tutorial cases. Just jump in straight away uh, because I, I really like uh, that people can go straight away, jump in and try a bit try a bit of the code, see how it all works and get a solution out, get some contour plots. Because so that's, that's really, um, I think what, the contour plots and the the beautiful visualizations, the streamlines and the ISO surfaces. This is, I think, part of the magic and the part of the magic of CFD is that it it helps us to really visualize things that could be quite difficult to to see and understand in everyday life. I mean, we 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 can see the movement of water. Often, movement of water is something that regular people and you see on a day to day. Uh, but seeing things like uh, how to, how temperature moves and how you can have uh, hot plumes and cold fluid moving around and how it uh, all combines together and you often have beautiful vortex structures set up shed off the back of wings and planes and things um it's really quite beautiful and so i my advice for a, someone who just wanted to just try it out i'd say jump in and try a tutorial case um and inevitably what will then happen is it'll be like uh, opening pandora's box and they'll quickly find that the cfd world is uh, is magical and there's loads of things for them to learn and understand